So I'm going to be 72 this year, and uh, although I feel well um, physically, uh, I notice that many things go. For example, my knees, uh, I was operated, I had an arthroscopy on my knee, so now I have to have injections uh, of hyaluronic acid. Uh, I broke an elbow, so I had to be treated uh, by an osteopath. I have uh, back pain, so I have to be treated with an osteopath. I, ha I suffer from vertigo, you know, vertigo when your head turns, and uh, so I have to be treated also uh, here on the neck, and so I have to follow a series of treatments. And um, I notice that uh, if I don't have any activity, um, then of course uh, the problem is that you, your muscles go. And, and with your muscles going, you have no strength. And if you have no strength, you become very, very uh, feeble and, and lazy. You don't want to go out, you don't want to walk, you don't want to ride a bicycle, you don't want to do any exercise. And when you, for example, go rambling, uh, you know, you go walking with friends, uh, and if there is a slight inclination in the road, you have to go up and then you're you ache a bit everywhere, and as you ache, you say, oh, well, no, next time I won't do that. So you, you limit yourself as you age uh, in what you can do, mentally speaking, you know, because you say to yourself, well, I can go walking, but I cannot really go up because I have pain everywhere. So that's out. So the mountains are out, you see. So you begin by reducing your life mentally, and physically um, in a natural way. It happens very simple. As, as you age, this keeps happening, right? Now, for example, we use quite often uh, biostimulators uh, to keep muscles going, um, and that's very useful. Uh, for example, if I feel very weak or if I have a problem with my knee, I can use uh, biostimulation on my quadriceps uh, which is key for the knee movement and that's very helpful and if I have my muscles better toned up in particular the quadriceps of the calf muscles then I'm more able to do some form of exercise even if it's just walking or playing a game of some kind you know? so that even purely with biostimulation I can do more than if I didn't Right? So otherwise, it's very limiting. So in preparation for the time when essentially you get mentally lazy, you don't want to do anything, you know. And it's very, very easy. You just maybe want to watch something on television and then the next day you want to talk to your wife and go on talking and do very little about things. And so the more it is like that, um, the, the less activity your muscles do, uh, the lazier you become, right? So, these are concerns that it would be good to have them when you are young. Because if you more or less prepare to this when you, say, reach the age of 40, uh, uh, instead of letting uh, your body say, well, no, 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 we don't want to do anything, you just, at age 40, you begin to extend your uh, active life, you begin to extend your, your exercise life, then you will have a better time when it comes to age, when it comes to being older, right? Because I was very busy with my work and everything that I did, I neglected that part, let's say between 40 and, and 70, and now that I'm reaching the 72 years, although I feel well, uh, I really need to push myself to do either more exercise, if I find the energy to do it, or, uh, as I said, use a biostimulator um, on my tummy, on my quadriceps, on my calves, on my arms, whatever, which will, by making me feel stronger and uh, toning the muscles, gives me the, the, the will or the desire to do exercise. So I think that um, it is a palliative, it is a form of compensating for the fact that 
you're naturally lazy and naturally don't want to exercise, so at least using a biostimulator can help you tone the muscles, and by having muscles toned, you, you then feel like doing the exercise, if you know what I mean, right? So it is an enhancement of exercise by using these biostimulators. And that's what I'm trying to do at the moment because my natural condition is to be lazy. So, <laughs> so that's, that's what I'm combating. I'm combating laziness, you know. I think the culture is leading us to this. Um, you know, we live, all you have to do is watch people Together, everybody is consulting their iPad, everybody is spending a lot of time on iPads and computers. Then you go to your room and you look at more things on the computer, and the phones and so on. And then you go home and you have a meal and then you watch television or something like that. And so life has, is more sedentary than ever before. We don't have to go out and do anything to kill elephants to eat, you know. So because of that, is getting more and more difficult and, and uh, there is a study that I was reading about recently that really people just don't want to do exercise. In general people don't want to do exercise. Now I'm talking about men here because women I find are far more uh, interested in exercise and because they know that their, their physical body has a time limit much more like sportsmen, you know, like a, a football player knows that at 30 years old really is the beginning of the end. Well, women know this themselves with their bodies, and so they have a natural tendency to want to protect their body far more than men. And, and so they go on, if you, if you see, women go dancing, they go and do pilates, they go and do exercises, they go to the gym and so on, it's far more women than men. And this is an interesting phenomenon. Uh, in my village, where I live in France, uh, my wife tries to go uh, and do exercise, and she's surrounded by 80-year-old women. And there isn't one man in the, in the actual exercise class. They're all women. And they're you know, doing gym exercises and trying to keep fit. You know. Whereas men, I think, re reach a point where they just give up. You know, they don't care about it anymore. Uh, so I, I'm talking about men, and I'm talking exclusively, exclusively about my condition, my, my situation, you know. I see.